Hey, I'm Charlie O'Connell, the founder of FitScript, and we're here in the FitScript training studio. And today I want to share with you an easy analogy to help you understand how and why exercise affects insulin sensitivity. So, when you consume food and that food breaks down into glucose, the glucose enters the bloodstream and insulin facilitates the storage of that glucose into one of three places inside your body. You can think of those places like parking lots. Now, parking lot number one for glucose, the valet parking garage for your glucose is the liver. However, the liver has a limited storage capacity. If the liver is filled up already with glucose, it doesn't matter how much insulin is present, glucose cannot be stored in it. And if that's the case, Glucose heads, bypasses the liver, and heads for the next parking lot, which is your muscles. Now, your muscles parking lot is, also has a limited storage capacity, but unlike your liver, you can change the size of your muscles parking lot through exercise. The more you exercise and the larger your muscles become, the larger the muscle's parking lot becomes and the more glucose can be stored inside those muscles. Now, if your muscle parking lot is full or you have very little muscles, then glucose will bypass that parking lot as well and will head for the third parking lot inside your body, which is your fat adipose tissue. Now, your fat adipose tissue is like the long-term parking lot at Newark Airport. No matter what, you're always going to find a space to park glucose inside your fat. Unfortunately, that's how we gain weight. Now, let's stop for a second and let's talk about insulin. Insulin is a regulatory hormone that is central to glucose and fat metabolism inside the body. Insulin causes the liver cells, the muscle cells, and the fat tissue cells to absorb glucose and it simultaneously prevents the use of fat as an energy source. You can think of insulin like a traffic cop. When insulin becomes present in your blood, it says stop fat, come on in glucose. And as long as insulin is present in your blood, fat can't be used as an energy source and glucose will continue to be absorbed by whichever parking lot is not full. So, how and why does exercise affect insulin sensitivity? Well, when you exercise, you empty your muscle and liver parking lots. Let's say, for example, you're doing bicep curls. When you do a bicep curl, your muscle uses the stored, the stored glucose inside of it to provide energy to perform that activity. Eventually, that stored glucose runs out. In other words, the parking lot becomes empty. At that point, your liver kicks in and your liver responds to that exercise by emptying its parking lot to provide glucose for the muscles. Eventually, both parking lots, the muscles and the liver parking lot, empty. And when that happens, you've created the space inside your body for insulin to store glucose in the place where it's supposed to be, either your liver or your muscles. Now, for people with type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes, exercise can have an enormously positive impact on increasing insulin sensitivity and lowering blood glucose levels. Essentially what exercise does is exercise frees up the traffic jam of glucose circulating around your bloodstream and creates the space. It opens the parking lots of your muscles and your liver for glucose to go and it stops the fat parking lot from continuing to expand. This also may help you understand why a side effect of injectable insulin is weight gain. If you're injecting insulin and you're not getting exercise, there's only one place for the insulin to store that glucose and that's in your fat cells. 
Now, for people with type 1 diabetes, this explanation can also help you understand why you may be suffering from hypoglycemia after exercise. There is a direct relationship between the depletion of glycogen, i.e. the emptying of the muscles and liver parking lots, and an increase in insulin sensitivity. If you have type 1 diabetes and you get a great workout in, and you empty the muscle and liver parking lots, the next time you eat food, you'll need less insulin than if you hadn't worked out. Why would that be? Well, after a workout, the muscles and livers are empty. The muscle and liver parking lots are empty. And less insulin is required to facilitate the storage of glucose into those parking lots. As opposed to if they were already full, then the glucose, that, uh, then the food that you eat will be stored as fat. Hopefully this has been a beneficial and easy analogy for you to understand. will help you understand how and why exercise affects insulin sensitivity. For more great tips about safe and effective exercise with diabetes and prediabetes, check out fitscript.com and good luck with your next workout.